High Point neighborhood. Many of you have been walking back and forth from Star Market to restock your cupboards during this week's winter weather. Managers there say they're doing their very best to keep the shelves stocked. WAFO 48's Megan Plaka is there at Star Market. Megan Star Market leaders trying to keep up with this huge demand. A huge demand, Liz. They say that there are more shoppers here than usual. They say those staples are just flying off the shelves. Of course, we're talking about milk, eggs, bread, all those kind of things. But regulars like Michael Owens, he says they're doing a really good job with keeping up with this demand. Five Points is a pretty close, pretty walkable neighborhood, and it is pretty great that uh, they had the capability to stay open to serve this neighborhood. Star Market isn't just a grocery store. It's also a pharmacy and restaurant. Operations Director Trent McElmore says not only did the store stay open through the week's winter event, it stayed busy. They sold out of items several times over. We've been just having to uh, kind of trade between stores between this this location and the one in Meridianville to kind of keep everybody in stock of things that everybody needs. He's mainly talking about the essentials like milk, eggs and of course bread. We have plenty of stock right now. Don't know how long it'll last. Um, and again, that's when you start buying the, the weird bread or the gluten free bread just to get by <laughs> until the normal stuff comes back in stock. Michael Owens lives in Five Points and frequent Star Market. He says employees have been working hard to keep shelves stocked. The second I saw that the uh, dairy and the milk section was empty, someone was coming out with a cart uh, refilling the little milk that they had. He says he has a greater appreciation for Star Market after it stayed open all week. Really means a lot to people like me and my wife, uh, me and my neighbors, uh, to be able to get our essentials, our medicines, our prescriptions, our groceries, when we really only expected uh, this emergency to last two or three days. Uh, having them open throughout the whole week really was important. So I did those interviews a couple hours ago. I just checked the bread status now. Unfortunately, we are down to those weird breads, those gluten-free breads for you. But Macklemore did tell me that they are expecting a shipment tonight. Reporting live from Huntsville, Megan Plotka, WAFF 48, on your side.